and thank you for taking up the time for joining us today. My name is Shazan Mohammad. I lead product management at Cesium and led the launch for Cesium for Unreal. I'm really excited to give you a short overview of what Cesium does uh, for those of us who may be new and then dive right into uh, um, a few minutes of demos. Uh, my goal is to give you a glimpse of the possibilities of Cesium for Unreal in bridging the gap between geospatial and game engines and then just set it up for the amazing panel that we have to follow. So a quick introduction, Cesium started off as a web-based geospatial engine built on WebGL a decade ago. So quite the right timing with uh, GeoAwesomeness as well, um, and which was meant for high precision uh, accuracy and a 3D geospatial globe from day one um, around aerospace um, to run visualization and analysis from space to ground and now even underground and undersea. The Cesium platform enables end-to-end -end workflows for all of your 3D geospatial applications, from content pipelines to processes, uh, your high-resolution 3D geospatial content, and combining that with global context that you get from Cesium's global curated data. Um, and in addition to that, we of course have Cesium JS in Cesium for Unreal, uh, the powerful GPU accelerated engines for visualization and analysis. So the trend we've been seeing over the past few years is that 3D geospatial data is being gathered faster for more cheaper and greater amounts and at higher resolutions than we've ever seen before. If we're capturing so much data that we almost don't, um, we almost need to process it faster and need tools for that. And our leaders at all of our companies and organizations and governments want us to put this data to use to make critical and informed decisions. The challenge Cesium overcomes is making that heterogeneous data from a variety of sources and formats quickly and easily available in one engine as data fusion with the precision and accuracy that is required for these decisions. Cesium's philosophy is that because there's so much data and so much information coming in, it's really difficult for one single platform or one single data provider to have all of that data. So what Cesium does is using open standards and interoperability, working with organizations like the OGC, um, make it possible to have interoperability so that you're able to bring that into one engine. So Cesium has operated at the intersection of computer graphics and 3D geospatial throughout our history. Cesium has taken the best of technology in computer graphics and game engines and bring that to geospatial uh, while pioneering new open standards like 3D tiles and GLTF to advance the industry as a whole um, on an open ecosystem built on interoperability. And that of course brings us to Cesium for Unreal and why we're here today. Um, Cesium's plugin for Unreal Engine that enables 3D geospatial in Unreal Engine um, by enabling a high accuracy globe um, with the high fidelity rendering and visual realism of Unreal Engine. It's of course, we, we release in, in true Cesium philosophy, we release that as, as open source. So it's free to use both in uh, commercial and non-commercial use. And we, we, are, we have been extremely excited to see all the work that's been done in the community and what's to come next. So in, within Cesium for Unreal, what we have is a 3D tiles runtime engine with LOD selection and caching that enables streaming of massive 3D geospatial content, either from the Cesium Ion cloud or on private networks that may be behind a firewall. Uh, geospatial applications in Unreal Engine can get ac access to massive amounts of data from, from these platforms and create, um, create uh, applications based on that. And with Cesium Ion, you get global data that we curate ourselves. So for, for Cesium for Unreal, we believe that we are advancing both 3D geospatial and Unreal Engine in both directions. With global scale and accuracy of real world content um, and the ability to stream uh, runtime content to Unreal Engine. And on Cesium platform, users also get access to content pipelines and processes that optimize those massive 3D models uh, for streaming as 3D tiles. 
In the other direction, um, geospatial applications built using Unreal Engine get access to all of the decades of adva advancements that uh, Unreal Engine has built in uh, with the high fidelity rendering, physics, visual quality simulation, um, and other artist-based tools like foliage, landscaping, water simulations, and a lot more. Uh, it also enables new devices like AR and VR to be added to that 3D geospatial workflow, uh, like Quest and HoloLens. And with all the new content that's ever growing on the Unreal Engine marketplace, um, the, that, that's a great resource to build your own applications with uh, realism and, and uh, accuracy. So th these are just some of the industries, use cases that we've seen coming from the community over the past 10 months since we announced that we'll be working on Cesium for Unreal. The applications of this technology are nearly infinite. Um, this slide just captures a portion of those, and some of these we hadn't imagined ourselves. And purely coming from the community that hid, you know, something like uh, education and culture or conservation can also be done um, using Unreal Engine and 3D Geospatial. So with that, I want to jump into our demo. So I've prepared a very quick demo um, with help of our Cesium for Unreal team. Um, and I'm going to hit F11 so that we go full screen. So what we have here is a high resolution uh, photogrammetry model of Miami Beach uh, captured by our friends at Aerometrics. Uh, this is streaming from Cesium Ion, um, and the data size, I believe, if I remember the number correctly, is around 20 GB. Um, so this, as you can see, we can run around using the Unreal default mannequin character, uh, which means that all the physics and other things also work. Uh, but you've seen this video before. A lot of us have shared this uh, before with you. What's new here is I can enable this drone now, and I can fly as the drone around this entire Miami Beach photogrammetry. And as I fly up, you're gonna see more and more data load in. And if I were to traditionally package this as a game, it would take hours and hours to download the whole data. Uh, but because this is streaming content, uh, it's no different than you know, like a YouTube video or uh, watching a movie on Netflix, which is only streaming what you need. Um, so this is um, this drone here is based on an Unreal uh, Engine Marketplace model that uh, we've integrated. So as I said before, you can use all of those models with uh, with the physics here. Um, and as I go here, you, one thing you can notice uh, if I fly a little bit towards the water is that we've added a water simulation as well. And this is something that's uh, that we're working on and should be uh, active pretty soon. Uh, with Cesium World Terrain, you can procedurally add water to all the oceans and seas around the world. Um, one other thing I, I would want to show here is the drone camera view. So not just not just seeing the drone as third person, but you can actually become the camera of the drone and, and fly around. So this is great for things like modeling and simulation where you want to train pilots uh, who are operating drones or flight simulator like Sammy might show later today uh, in his tutorial. So I am going to uh, come back and switch to a free roam mode um, so that we are not just flying as the drone or as controlling a character, but actually flying through the scene um, you know, quickly and accurately. So different use cases, different models, uh, Unreal Engine and Cesium for Unreal support all of them. Um, the other thing I can do is zoom all the way out so that we can see the entire globe. So you get the global context in a single level. There's no level switching between between different parts of the world here. Um, one other thing I'd like to show is fly to Denver. Um, this is again something, uh, a, a tile set we've shared on social media before, um, the street level photogrammetry of Denver. So, as the streams in, uh, what I'm going to do is I showed you uh, a drone in Miami. This time I'm going to show you a car driving down the road. So for those of us who've played GTA, uh, this should feel fairly similar. So now I can drive this car down the road um, 
complete with interaction. I don't know if the sound is coming through, but there's definitely sound in my ear about the exhaust and stuff. Um, I can and I can switch to a first person view as well and drive around it. And I can look around. Um, I'm going to exit the vehicle now. Um, And maybe one one last uh, go into free roam mode to show you Denver from the sky and fly around the high resolution photogrammetry. This is also from our uh, friends at Aerometrics, uh, and we can go into this baseball stadium, um, fly over it, and the high resolution of uh, the street level data, of course, is of Union Station. So as we fly in, you're going to see it load the high resolution detail. So because because I'm streaming this while um, while I'm also streaming data from C, uh, from the cloud, this might be a slightly slower to load. Alex, how are we doing on time? And two more minutes. All right. I, I want to just fly up a little bit and maybe fly over to the mountains to show the global context that gets added from all of the uh, the data that we stream uh, from the cloud. So these are these are of course the Rocky Mountains um, that are around Denver. Uh, great skiing location. So if you're you know looking forward to the summer, Miami Beach is the place to be. And of course, as winter and the fall come around. Uh, Denver's the place to be for skiing. Um, so I think that's that's all for my demo. I just wanted to set the stage and the context for um, for the panel to come. So um, thank you for that. And you know, if you have any interesting use cases um, or or um, you want to do demos like this, you know, please get in touch with us. We we love to connect with the community. And if you haven't downloaded and tried. Uh, Cesium for Unreal already. Please visit the marketplace. It's uh, it's free to download and try out, and we have a samples project there as well that should get you started very very quickly. Um, so thank you, thank you all for listening, and uh, back to you, Alex.